Hello everyone, it's David again. How many of you remember from your history books about the American West, the slogan 5440 or fight? I remember that one. What it refers to was an American claim which followed what was called Oregon Country. And that would be the Western District of the United States from 1818 to 1846. Where Oregon used to encompass what is modern day Oregon, Washington, Idaho, most of Western Montana, I believe a chunk of what is now Yellowstone Park, so you Wyomingans are part of this, British Columbia, and I believe also Alberta. In fact, I found an old map under Wikipedia Commons, which I will try and uh, use for the thumbnail so you can follow along. Oregon and Alaska, my birth state, used to have a common border, believe it or not. So this Greater Idaho Movement wants to rip out a huge chunk of Oregon And Oregon gets nothing, in essence. Just out of the goodness of our heart, we bequeath to you the eastern two-thirds of our state. My cat's paying me a visit in case you're wondering what my hand is doing. Why does Oregon have to give up everything and, and, and gets nothing in return? Why doesn't Oregon just re-annex all of Washington, Idaho, Montana, all the places that I just listed earlier? Okay, if any of you are familiar with European history, especially European history of the last, say, uh, 15 minutes, will know that this sounds awfully familiar to you. Mare Nostrum, RRC, for the old Italian empires, uh, the Third Reich for Germany, Greater Albania, Greater Armenia, the former Soviet Empire. That's what they're fighting over now. Because Europeans want to bring the maps of 300, 500, 1,000 years ago into play and make them, force them into the realities of today. And this is a lot of what this greater Idaho movement wants to do. They just want to rip off a piece of this state, a piece of that state, to increase their power base. But they give up nothing. So what I propose is a quasi-fair trade. Idaho, greater Idaho, I should say. Not regular Idaho people, but just greater Idaho. Why don't you guys offer up Boise and Sun Valley and at least try and make it a fair trade? Of course, you'll have to move your capital now. You can't be having Idaho legislature meet on Oregon territory again. Because remember, you used to have to do that back in the 1840s and stuff before then. But, you know, I digress. They're never going to go for that. Why? Because they want all the power and all the land and all the wealth to themselves. All the political power that goes with it. They don't want to give up anything in return. And this is why Europe is in the state it's in every 50 years. We have to go through this same sort of, someone wants greater Yugoslavia, someone wants greater this, greater that, greater French empire, whatever. This is why the greater Idaho movement can't be allowed to secede, because if they get away with it, that who's to stop the next Yehu from ripping off and just readjusting everything just to suit his own political agenda? At any rate, like, comment, subscribe, even if you don't agree with me, and especially if you don't agree with me, and tell me why down in the comment section below. It only takes a few clicks, and it helps me out tremendously, and I hope you all have a good rest of the day.